the Revolutionary Party, ZANU-PF, has noted with contempt the MDCA veiled threats to unseat a constitutionally elected government following pronouncements by Mr. Nelson Chamisa during his hollow address on 9 March 2021, dubbed Agenda 2021. In his long monologue, Mr. Chamisa did not only fail to demonstrate leadership, but failed to instill hope in his fractured party. Instead, rambling about seeking to establish pockets of resistance across the country, similar to the ill-fated 31 July 2020 attempted violent demonstrations, whose sole attempt was to destabilize the country. Zanapiev has the capacity to thwart such machinations as a law-abiding organization. We, of course, rest the matter with the law enforcement agencies. The people of Zimbabwe have had enough of this childish rumbling from a party clearly running short of oxygen. ZANU-PF and its leadership have no agenda whatsoever to decimate any opposition political party. We cherish democracy as born out of a protracted liberation struggle which freed our people from the shackles of colonialism and secular regime winning freedom and independence in 1980. Of course, there was no MDC then, not even in Zimbabwe's womb. Zanpio, therefore, urges political players to embrace dialogue and join others under Pollard in the spirit of frank engagements instead of focusing on divisive and polarizing antiques. For the record, ZANU-PF is proud of how our government has rallied the nation in fighting COVID-19 and significant strides have been made, including among others, acquiring the vaccine which has seen our frontline warriors being inoculated. It is therefore not only preposterous, but irresponsible to say the least for Mr. Chamisa and his lot to suggest or opine that our government is using COVID-19 to delay by elections. The President, Comrade Idim Nangagwa, has reiterated severally that his objective in all these measures put in place is to serve people's lives because once lost, they can never be recovered. It is therefore mind boggling. But given this imperative, Mr. Chamisa's faction is obsessed with by-elections, which of course, by all standards, have no effect to ZANU-PF's two-thirds parliamentary majority. Be that as it may, ZANU-PF points it clearly that the party does not interfere with parliamentary calls involving non-members and does not interfere 
with the running of by-elections, which is a prerogative of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZAC. The party is more than ready for by-elections, except that we respect the measures put in place to save lives during these deadly times. ZANPF is quite alive, however, that Mr. Chamisa is under pressure to seek relevance in the face of mass exodus of key members from his party who have defected to the Revolutionary Party. This is not our problem, but his. And we shall continue to welcome all those who have elected to return back to ZANU PF, the People's Party. That should not be equated to forming a one party state. Zimbabwe remains a multi party democracy, and ZANU PF cherishes that. However, we don't offer political consultancy to collapsing parties. As such, those tired of civil political engagement must stop venting out their frustration through experimenting with the country's hard-won freedom, peace, and unity. ZANU-PF urges its membership to remain vigilant in the face of his renewed sponsored regime machinations and improve the newly constituted DCCs to continue to preach the gospel of unity, peace and development in line with the new dispensations mantra and President Idim Nangagwa's vision 2030. We remain uncertain and unwavering in our quest to deliver our 2018 electoral promises as illustrated in our 2018 People's Manifesto, which remains the chapter and verse guiding our programs. President Comrade Jim Nangagwa has declared 2021 a year of action and productivity. We call upon all our people to continue to focus on production, buoyed by the success story of the Fumbuza Intuasa farming program to ensure that our nation continues to achieve food security. The ruling party and government are determined to achieve an upper middle income economy by 2030. The National Development Strategy 1 and the S1, recently launched by His Excellency the President, Comrade Ijim Nangagwa, has been embraced nationally and internationally. Our focus is on productivity, productivity, and productivity across all sectors of the economy. Finally, let it be known that ZANU-PF has no time for primitive politics with the tribal undertones, as we recently observed, the people of Manikaland, Chipinga in particular, being subjected to ridicule at the hands of the opposition officials. I thank you.